Message from the World Light Government of Ethiopia Abraham's Holy Trinity. Slash message 10 slash. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the One God, Amen. Ethiopia is a land where the glory of Trinity is revealed and be praised. Ethiopia is the inheritance of Virgin Mary. Ethiopia is light of the world. Ethiopia is governor of the world. For 17 years according to God's will, waiting their time for the entire race of Adam, messages which have been described from the breath of Abraham's Trinity the first messages which was issued on November 7, 1998 Ethiopian calendar, November 15, 2006 European calendar, the second messages which was issued on May 27, 2000 Ethiopian calendar, June 4, 2008 European calendar, the third messages which was issued on April 19, 2001 Ethiopian calendar, April 5, 2009 European calendar, the fifth messages which was issued on September 21, 2004 Ethiopian calendar, September 29, 2012 European calendar, also on the overthrown of ERDF government and about Ethiopian Orthodox Twadu, about the destruction of the government, punishment, it describes, fourth message also in the end on December 30, 2020 European calendar, December 21, 2013 Ethiopian calendar, ninth message was released. And you have heard all these messages, especially on the ninth message mainly the declared proclamation of emergency, which have been waited you for two years, even if you said it is not my case, even if you do not repent by shocking, ignore your opportunity given to you, Eliu you continue with proud today are all done his patience is running out the entire declaration to be implemented throughout the world the order is loaded and delivered to the executors we want you to know today also. The end time has come for you. All these messages, likewise, the letters sent to all the descendants of Adam moreover, for three years statements issued at different times advises, blames, teachers, what is coming, which should be noticed regularly, for those who understand the truth for our families, based on what we have explained, the opportunity give to repent, use, understand and the entire race of Adam who could not return in the end, the summarized what came before him what is decided by God, strong action what was ordered and transferred to the end since the creation of the earth, the flow of anger of the Trinity that she did not see to express that it has arrived in front of you and it is a message to inform these. In this message, the era of conversation come back repent, do not repent, it has been completed. What happened in front of you today but the flow of anger for everyone who is not present just in the record of God's mercy as you carry out your opportunity, just to let you know your judgment will be done to you. Especially all the judgments mentioned on message 8, message 5, message 3, messages 1 and 2 above all the declared proclamation of emergency announced by message 9, to turn it into action message 8, which is ordered to be transferred to execution also on message 5 on message 3 on messages 1 and 2 all judgments described execution appropriated as taken by God by turning it into action today you descendants of Adam fulfilling your destiny on earth close your record and make you settle to the history record. From God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob, the Lord of all armies, the creator of all creation, the trinity of Abraham, which came out of Zebaid. Strong penalties, executions, decisions, and orders. Listen today all the descendants of Adam who live on these earth. Since there is no human race that does not concern you, it is your final end so listen, and you don't have time. From the creator of all creation and creator, commanded by the Almighty, Abraham's Trinity strong punishments execution and orders done to all peoples where arrived in the land. Let it reach. To all the descendants of Adam who are scattered in front of the whole world. Psalm 73 74 Let's see the mighty word of God for those who notice and those who don't hearing is from the word of God so listen. Hear the whole race of Adam. A few families of God and the Virgin, gentle and sincere people you also you are also a witness how far the destruction of the world has gone, on yourselves and on all mankind because what you see happening is what you see listen in carefully understanding it. 
our patience which we have been waiting for is becomes over and many of us have given up hope, many of us are like apostles we are inclined to our personal flesh market just like the apostles to go fishing, to the tax collecting, we have returned to our work the result is told us because how much we miss, it is good if we see it patiently. As you know, the apostles when their shepherd is beaten when he was crucified and buried they yet that all their hopes were buried together. But God is a God who is faithful to his word human being slash the man he loved slash, whom he have paid the highest price for him and the person he respected the most, he never throw anywhere who trusting him and he is the God who never defeated and leaves him to the enemy, he is the executioner of the beginning. Always remember children of the world medicine and the virgin notice what he started, the word he said his promise God never leaves and forgetting. There is no history revealed and sent, recorded and have been considered by these is not in front of our beloved God. Apostles saw him killed death by death and when he declared our independence with victory they were in giving up condition when the news reached them. It was a miracle to them. Even today, some of our families, stating in well those who lost their conscience and lost hope by the enemy's multifaceted attack strategy we, have seen and hear that there are many who looked at us we, the servants of God, with doubt. Let it be it doesn't matter when the truth is revealed in the future when everything comes to light, even if it leads to strong regret for repentance even if broken, wounded, crushed, even dead and salvation is God's personal behavior that no one can do cheer up, the good medicine has arrived in fullness that you did not expect. Let's go to the word. 1 O oh God, why hast you cast us off forever? Why doth yours anger smoke against the sheep of thy pasture? To remember thy congregation, which you hast purchased of old, the rod of yours inheritance, which you hast redeemed, this Mount Zion, wherein you hast dwelt. 3 Lift up thy feet unto the perpetual desolations, even all that the enemy hath done wickedly in the sanctuary. Four years enemies roar in the midst of thy congregations, they set up their ensigns for signs. Five a man was famous according as he had lifted up axes upon the thick trees. Six but now they break down the carved work thereof at once with axes and hammers. Seven they have cast fire into thy sanctuary, they have defiled by casting down the dwelling place of thy name to the ground. 8 They said in their hearts, Let us destroy them together, they have burned up all the synagogues of God in the land. 9 We see not our signs, there is no more any prophet, neither is there among us any that know it how long. 10 O God, how long shall the adversary reproach? Shall the enemy blaspheme thy name forever? 11 Why withdrawest you thy hand, even thy right hand? Pluck it out of thy bosom. 12 For God is my King of old, working salvation in the midst of the earth. 13 You didst divide the sea by thy strength, you breakest the heads of the dragons in the waters. 14 You breakest the heads of Leviathan in pieces, and gavest him to be meat to the people inhabiting the wilderness. 15 You didst cleave the fountain and the flood, you driedst up mighty rivers. 16 The day is yours, the night also is yours, you hast prepared the light and the sun. 17 You hast set all the borders of the earth, you hast made summer and winter. 18 Remember this, that the enemy hath reproached, O Lord, and that the foolish people have blasphemed thy name. 19 O deliver not the soul of thy turtle dove unto the multitude of the wicked, forget not the congregation of thy poor forever. 20 Have respect unto the covenant, for the dark places of the earth are full of the habitations of cruelty. 21 O let not the oppressed return ashamed, let the poor and needy praise thy name. 22 Arise, O God, plead yours own cause, remember how the foolish man reproach at you daily. 23 Forget not the voice of yours enemies, the tumult of those that rise up against you increaseth continually. Psalm 73 74 So from where does the word of God come from that is more descriptive than this word? Today's enemy the enemies of God, what is your chance those who are the enemies of the people you can understand this briefly from this 